Lessons 8 and 9 introduce the Greek case system. There are four main cases in Greek, nominative, genitive, dative, and accusative. In this lesson, we will introduce the nominative and accusative cases. Before we begin, let's review some basic English grammar. Consider this English sentence, the boy threw the ball. In this sentence, we have one verb and two nouns. The verb is through, the nouns are boy and ball. Let's talk about the function of these two nouns. The first noun, boy, functions as the subject of the sentence. The boy is the one who throws. The second noun, ball, functions as the direct object. The direct object is the recipient of the action of the verb. What is thrown? The ball is thrown. All right, well now that we've reviewed some basic terminology, let's talk about the Greek case system. Consider first these two English sentences. The son loves the father. The father loves the son. In the first sentence, son is the subject and father is the direct object. In the second sentence, father is the subject and son is the direct object. Note that in each sentence, the words are spelled the same way. The word son is spelled S-O-N when it is the subject, and it is spelled S-O-N when it is the direct object. Likewise, the word father is spelled the same regardless of whether it is functioning as the subject or the direct object. Now this is not the way that some English pronouns work. Consider these two sentences. I love God. God loves me. I and me are two different forms of the same word, the first person personal pronoun. Why is the pronoun I in the first sentence and me in the second sentence? It is because in the first sentence, the pronoun is functioning as the subject, while in the second sentence, the pronoun is functioning as the direct object. The pronoun takes a different form depending on its function in the sentence. We say, I love God, not me love God. Likewise, we say, God loves me, not God loves I. The pronoun has one form when it is the subject and another form when it is the direct object. The same is true for other pronouns in English. We say, I love her, not I love she. Likewise, we say, she loves me, not her loves me. Now in Greek, it is not just the pronouns that change form depending on how they are functioning in the sentence. In Greek, the nouns do as well. So consider again these two English sentences. The son loves the father, the father loves the son. If we were to translate the first sentence into Greek, the word son would be spelled huios. However, if we were to translate the second sentence into Greek, the word son would be spelled huion. Huios is the form of the word in the nominative case, and huion is the form of the word in the accusative case. Note that huios is the form that you memorized in your vocabulary list. The lexical form of a noun is always in the nominative case. In other words, the form of a noun that is listed in a dictionary or a vocabulary list is always in the nominative case. Note also that the difference between huios and huion is in the ending of the word. In later lessons, we will learn how to identify the case of a word by looking at the ending. For now, however, you simply need to remember that the subject is typically in the nominative case and the direct object is typically in the accusative case. All right, well, that completes this lesson, so go ahead and take the quiz to learn the content.